Hey everybody, Brenda here. How are you all doing today? Um, well, I hope. <laughs> um, when we left off the last time, I had um, needed to sew around our little um, sack clutch. It turned into a designer clutch. <laughs> and um, what I had done is I sewed all around, okay, sewed it together as a pouch, and then after it was all sewn together, I put Mod Podge all around and got that done. Um, right here where the seam was, where these two papers came together, I put a little um, a little bit of washi tape, and that has been Mod Podged over. <clears throat> and off camera, I wanted, I put this on, and I did, I did the closure off camera because I knew it was going to be a fumbly thing to do because I had already sewn it together. So, um, I knew I was going to have to fumble around, so I did it off camera. But basically, all I did was... I found the middle, measured it and found the middle with my um, Tim Holtz ruler. I sat this piece down and just marked the little holes and then put uh, the brads. And that is what's covering, this is covering the uh, back of the brads. So I did that and then I laid it down like this and lined up this bottom piece <clears throat> with the top piece. And because I had put this together, I had taken my, my whole book and stuck it in there like that. And then I pun punctured the holes for this with the book inside because hopefully next time I will know enough to uh well I I really wasn't sure how to do a closure either I was looking at buttons for a closure had different buttons I was looking at um doing uh you know punching out the circles and using a circle and then I decided on this when I found this because um, I like the looks of it. And um, like I said, I thought it would be kind of fumbly at the time to put it in, but it wasn't. It wasn't that bad. And then all I had to do, like I said, was cover the, the back of the brads. So <clears throat> next step, I thought about putting this right here, right above the closure. This is, um, this says vintage and I, I love the little tag. So I thought I might glue that there and then just add this little butterfly down here in the corner because I definitely wanted something in this corner. So what do you think? I kind of like it. <clears throat> so let me, I know I want the butterfly in the corner. See, at first I had this down here and I just, I mean, it looks okay down there, but I kind of, when I put it up here, I kind of liked it right up there. So let's put the butterfly in the corner instead. And I had the butterfly in different places and um, it was just, I don't know, it was hard to decide what I wanted to um, put on, put in those two spots. And I'm trying to get the backing off of the butterfly. And it didn't do too bad this time. And I want the butterfly to, that's my granddaughter to be right in this corner, like so. Okay, 
I like that there. And then I want to distress this. Uh, hi. <clears throat> I'm my grandson, Aurora. <laughs> and we have a little jokester with us again today. <laughs> <laughs> I am silly, Nana. <laughs> I try to be silly, but I need you to go, okay? You're and um, go watch your show until Nana gets done with the video. Okay. Say yeah. bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. See you next time. Thank you, honey. <clears throat> okay. Back to business. I am going to glue this down. Because I do, um, like I said, I do really like it there. And then <clears throat> we are going to go on to the next. Let's see. I want it, I think, about right in the middle. Okay. And, <clears throat> excuse me. I will, uh, we have another visitor. This time it's Sadie, one of my twin pup, one of my twin dogs. We have two, Sadie and Sophie. Okay, and I will, um, off camera, I will put some Mod Podge over this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just getting a drink of water here. I got like a closure in my throat. <clears> throat> okay, so I like that. And as far as I'm concerned, I think this part is just about done. Um, I don't think I will do anything to the back unless I change my mind. But anyway, so I am going to set this aside because um, this is what we have so far. And I absolutely love how it turned out. <clears throat> So I'm going to set that aside, and our next order of business is creating the um, the journal that goes inside, and this is going to be an envelope journal. What I have done, these are uh, I coffee dyed um, envelopes. <clears throat> they were already coffee dyed, but I did go ahead and um, put some inks, blue. I put some mustard seed, some peacock feathers, and some worn lipstick. That's what I put on for these colors. And <clears throat> all I did was put it down, um, spray it with water, and mushed my envelope like so. <clears throat> let it dry in between and um and then I did some stamping with my script stamp so I stamped around after <clears throat> oh and one more thing I took some of my gesso and <clears throat> where the the colors were some of the colors were re re <clears throat> were really dark so I wanted to tone down the colors um, some of the blues and the reds I wanted to tone that down and <clears throat> blend it in a little more so I used my gesso and just took my finger and rubbed over to lighten it out some so that's what I did <clears throat> and one more thing I took these envelopes and I think they were like nine inches long to begin with. I cut them down to eight and a half because I was not sure at nine if they would fit in. And I thought they would be kind of snug. So I cut it down to eight and a half and I think I'm gonna have room <clears throat> I think I'll have room to get my journal going, get it in the clutch. So I have three envelopes here, did the same to all of them. 
I want to, I think, I want to take two of them, lay them out like this. I've got the first two, okay? I'm not using the windows. Uh, I know I'm not using the windows on the window on the front, so I'm, you know, I'm not worried about the windows. <clears throat> so for the first one, I think I am going to glue right along the flap on this one. Let's see if I can. Okay. <clears throat> and I want, I'm laying it right <clears throat> down even with this one. And I want to glue the flaps right together and try to have it um, as, even, <clears throat> as even as possible. Okay. So I've got the two flaps glued together and this is what I have so far. <clears throat> Trying to even it out there. Okay, so I've got that like that. And I've got this will be in the middle. And then the third envelope, I think I want to, yeah, I want to fit the third envelope right in. Okay, here's the front. Here's going to be the middle. Just fold those together. And in the back of the, <clears throat> the second envelope, we are putting this in and it's going to be probably tough to fit it in i'm just going to angle it just a little See if that will help okay so i'm going to use i'm going to take the glue and glue the back of this envelope <coughs> I don't know what's wrong with my voice today, but it is giving me a time. Okay, so we need to fit this inside this one. And of course it's gonna be fumbly to do. But I want it to fold. as evenly as possible. Which might also be hard to do. <clears throat> and then we're going to take the back flap here. Maybe my envelopes are a little uneven too. <clears throat> so we're going to glue the very back flap. Oh, I'm using uh, my Eileen's Tacky Glue. And this is going to fold over. And that will hold them. How'd that come out like that? <clears throat> Maybe that's the way I glued it. <clears throat> oh well. I don't think I can do anything about it now because it's so glued together. But I think that will be hidden anyway. I think. Because I haven't really planned what I'm going to do for... <clears throat> for the inside I know right here I will have a signature but I'm not sure 
what I'm going to do to this page. I might just put a, <clears throat> I don't know. I'll have to think about that. I know I want a signature here. So I did cut down and get some papers together. I have the um, part of the Artie Mazes kit for uh, the front. And then I put in some pretty coffee dyed paper. I got one, two, three, four, <clears throat> five. And instead of cutting this one, I just folded it over and six. I got six pages and this is another part of the kit that I'm using for the middle. So I think we should be able to go ahead and <clears throat> just put in our signature. My thread. <clears throat> Needle and thread, my whole punch. And I want to hold these in place. <clears throat> And it looks like it's just about in the right spot. I think two will do it. Hi guys, guess what just happened? I just tripped over a box. Oh my, are you okay? Of course I'm okay. <laughs> it was just a little, it was just a little bump on, it was just a little twist on the arm. Okay. I'll be out shortly, okay? What is that? <clears throat> Sorry, just fumbling with this. It's. It looks a little crooked, so I want to make sure I got it in the right spot. <clears throat> okay. Try that again. Much better. I am just going to go ahead and poke three holes doing the um, three pamphlet stitch, one in the middle, one about a half an inch down at the top and one about a half an inch in at the bottom <clears throat> we do our string at one two three times the length get my needle and have a hard time threading because <clears throat> my eyes are all gooky because I have I feel another infection eye infection coming on <clears throat> I'm going in through the middle I'm I'm going out through the middle back in <clears throat> through the bottom back out through the middle and then I'm going back in through the top. <clears throat> and make sure that your string is on either side. Get 
rid of this. <clears throat> Pull it tight, but not so tight as it splits your holes. Tie it in a knot. <clears throat> and tie it in a second Hi, guys. Line. I need a pee-pee. So oh, okay. Just go. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Oh, my goodness. The girl, once she gets started, <clears throat> you can't stop her. Okay. So, here we have our journal. We have a pocket here, which I will probably put um, some kind of uh, paper there to cover that up and then we have our journal and then we have a middle I think for this one I am going to uh, um, I think I'm going to put a piece of paper down in the middle here and Probably somehow have, <clears throat> I think I, I want the pocket on the, this end. I want the pocket to open up there, but I got to figure that all out. Okay, so we have our signature in. Now, the next thing I did was, do I want to put... Well, anyway, I made, <clears throat> I got this uh, little journal card from the kit and I sewed some uh, cheesecloth behind it and then some of this, uh, goodness gracious, what is it? <clears throat> Burlap or whatever you want to call it. So what my thought is, was to put it right about here number one because I want to cover up this uh, hole here uh, window I mean so that is going to be the focal point <clears throat> of this side so I'm going to take some Fabrifix and get that glued down I just sewed a single stitch <clears throat> And, um, Hi guys, and did you know that my hobby name is Hobby Rabbit? <laughs> okay, honey, go watch TV. And, and did you eat your lunch? Did you eat? Better be gone. Okay, when Nana I'll keep comes... eating. Okay, go watch your TV now. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. See you next time. I'll be done shortly, honey. <clears throat> Got a string hanging here. Okay, so I want this to cover up my window, but also still be partially straight and partially <clears throat> um, up and down even. Okay, I like that. So maybe let me wipe this off here. <clears throat> Goodness gracious, I'm so sorry. My voice is like <clears throat> real hoarse and um, dry. Okay, got some little strings here. All right, let's see how it's going to fit into our pouch. <clears throat> Fingers crossed that it fits. Look at the colors. The colors match so well with the, um, the little uh, inking that we did. Oh, just fits. So 
that will go like that. And this goes like that. And oh my goodness, how wonderful is that? A journal in a clutch. I like it. I'm going to take care of my needle and stuff before I lose it. <clears throat> And my punching tool. Okay, guys, I like how this is turning out. I do, I'm going to Mod Podge that, let it dry. Um, just, I like it. This says vintage fashion up here. Um, and this says vintage here, so. It's like a little designer clutch. Yeah, right. <laughs> I do like it though. This was fun to make. I hope you guys um, make one or have made one along with me. Um, we are, we do need to do a little more work on our journal to get it up to, up to pa. Um, I'm wondering if I just can put some of the paper. I want to use my little bird somehow. Maybe I'll use him to um, to put on this envelope. And I also need, that's what I needed to do. I need to put a piece of something right along there to cover that area. <clears throat> Let's see if I can use this. That's right. I was going to say, what is holding that? But I think I need to cut it down a little more. <clears throat> there. If I like that, I may just um, put a de uh, decorator piece in there instead of <clears throat> coffee dyed paper. Sorry. Maybe if I go on the outside. I think that's what I'll do. I'm going to um I'm going to find a piece that will go on the outside and just put it, <clears throat> well, I'm, I need to make this longer, but I'm going to glue it on the outside. I think that looks better. So 
some of this might work. And just leave enough space for it to, I mean, for us to get in. And then cut that right there. <clears throat> and ink around so I can get all that white on the edge there and maybe put just a thumb hole in <clears throat> about middle way Do I want a thumb hole? Maybe not. I don't think I will because then that will show um, beyond the thumb hole. Do I want this cut down a little bit? I don't think so. I think I will just um, glue that right down and then actually I'm going to glue it right along the envelope instead. so it doesn't close up my envelope. Can you guys hear that? That rumbling, my neighbor's truck. How'd you like to hear that at midnight or? <laughs> seven o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I like that much better than um, <clears throat> going on the inside. Sure, this is glued down. Got to get my art glitter glue so I can have my little needle nose uh, my little needle nose gluer glue tip. Goodness. My nails are gone too, so can't grab onto anything there okay I do I like that much better of course we'll decorate this page um probably put something over this not quite sure yet and I need to think about what I'm going to do with this and I might just trim that right down at the bottom there because that's or I might just cover it up I don't know I will see so anyway guys um I'm going to figure out I mean I, I know I want to put I think the kit had a little uh a little find it. thought it was right on the top here. Oh, right here. I had some of these. Uh, journal. Spring. It already has spring here, so I thought about putting um, the journal down here at the bottom. And I am just probably just going to glue that right on. And that way, 
um, after I glue it on, I can Mod Podge that and have that be all shinied up too. I have uh, spring and journal and memories. <clears throat> So I'm just going to glue that right down. Watercolor Spring, that is what I am using. Artie Mays Digital. And it is absolutely gorgeous. So this is going right about in the middle, right at the bottom. And I usually always try to put a little something else. I don't know what, but hopefully I can find something in here that might be the same color. Oh, I don't know, that might be a little, maybe at the top, that doesn't look bad. Let's see what other colors we have. We have this one, which is a little smaller. I think I like that one. That one's too pinkish. I don't want a bumblebee. I think that one looks good, actually. I think that would be the best choice. So I am going to put that right there. I was going to put it, uh, I was thinking about down here, but then I thought, well, maybe it'll be a little bit too crowded down there. So I'm going to put it at the top. And I want this to be like this. <clears throat> I do think that um, blends, uh, you know, goes along with that beautiful butterfly. So that is the cover, and I absolutely love it. So um, I will try to get together um, some what I want to do with the rest of it. I mean, I know uh, I know these have the white pages. I'll probably stencil um, a background, and then you know we'll we'll do. Uh, There'll, there'll be pockets and stuff to put on. <clears throat> we have to have tags and pockets and tuck spots. and But I'm going to go ahead and I'll do all this, you know, off camera because that would be very boring to watch. I'll just go ahead and stencil all the whiteness. Figure out. I'll probably have the hummingbird on this page somehow. And then I'm going to figure out how I want to do this. And then the back will just be um, covered up probably with a piece of um, paper from the kit. Maybe Mr. Hummingbird will be over here. But I don't know for sure. Anyway, so this is our front. Uh, this is our signature, this is our clutch, and that will go right in there. And there you have it. I love it. 
Okay, guys, I hope you um, enjoyed this little tutorial and I hope you're following along or at least thinking about making one. Real easy to make, real fun to make. And I will let you go and see what my little granddaughter is doing because her papa is outside in the garage making his little um, daubers because we still have some more that are that he sold and he's trying to get those caught up so we can get them in the mail. So guys, stay safe, stay healthy. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so and hit that little bell and future videos will come up for you. Other than that, I hope you have a lovely weekend. I heard snow for the weekend, but I'm praying that it's not going to. But if it does, you guys stay safe and have a wonderful, happy crafting weekend. Bye-bye, everybody.